Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the front hook tutorial. Since this is the first video, I'm Chloe Uchida and I've been pole dancing for over five years now. I used to work in corporate as a business development manager and I'm currently a full-time pole dancing instructor. I have a background in figure skating and flamenco and I love my cats Cheddar and Brie. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the first video of the beginner trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The front hook is the first trick you'll be learning from me. It requires a bit of strength, but we'll get there through a bit of conditioning as well. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red band on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do ever get confused with the direction. This trick tutorial is created for you for information and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spawning when necessary. For any health concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also make sure you warm up your body before you start this video. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so that you can try before you do the tricks. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create these kinds of videos and also consider subscribing to my channel so that you are notified every single time I upload a video every week. If you're looking to further your pole journey and combining tricks and dance together, then consider signing up for my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault, where we put all the tricks together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in my description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, now before we get into a conditioning, I just want to state a few things. Now, I might be referring to my body parts as right hand, left hand, right leg, left leg, which is pretty straightforward. Now, other times I may be referring to my body parts as inside hand, outside hand, inside leg and outside leg. Now, if I'm standing on the left side of the pole right now, the inside hand and inside leg is the one that is closer to the pole. Now, if I go on this side of the pole, this becomes my inside hand, inside leg, outside hand, and outside leg. Now that we've hashed that, let's go through into the conditioning. Now, with our conditioning, we are going to start off with what's gonna help you with getting your front hook. We're gonna start off with standing on our toes. Now this is to ensure that you can start working on your pointed feet and also to start working on your calf muscles. It does help when you're doing a lot of tricks because we have to point our toes unless you wanna do ugly tricks. I mean, that's up to you. I prefer to do things pretty. So you're gonna come onto your toes. Now make sure that you're standing on the left side of the pole, right next to the pole, very nice and close. Inside hand comes nice and high, outside hand comes across. Now let's go through the grip. When your inside hand is on the pole, make sure that if you do have a wrist, uh, do you have a wrist? Oh, duh, you have a wrist. <laughs> if you have a watch, my bad, that you should be able to see the face of your watch. Now, if you don't have a watch, I have one on my left wrist, but if I don't have one on my right, pretend like you have an imaginary watch and you should be able to see the face of the watch. Now, outside hand comes across just under my sternum and you should be able to create a 90 degree angle with your arm. Now, you wanna push your armpit, or squeeze your armpit in you're going to pull in your top arm, 
push away in your bottom arm. So in pole dancing, any sort of grip, you want to utilize this pull and push sort of motion. Now, when you're pulling in your top arm, commonly what happens is you're like hanging in your shoulder. Make sure that you're not hanging. This is a cause of injury. So you want to think about rotating your shoulder back, pulling it down, pushing away in your bottom arm. Now from here, you're just going to engage. So pull in your top arm, push in your bottom arm, lift your body off and release. Now you're going to go again, pull, push and release. Nice, all right, we've got two more. Pull, push, and release. Good, last one. Pull and push, <laughs> and release. Beautiful, well done. Now, before we start the other side, you might have noticed, depending on the type of pole you're using, or maybe if you might have sweaty hands, that your hands were sliding down when you're doing that exercise. Now, if you have very dry hands or if you weren't moving at all, well, you must have like great grip strength or you must have like really dry hands. I'm very envious of you because I have really sweaty hands. Now, if you have sweaty hands and if you were struggling with your grip, there's two different options or you can also combine the two. You can either, firstly, invest into grip aid which is pretty much kind of like liquid chalk. A lot of people that do bouldering or weightlifting, they use um, liquid chalk or actual chalk to sort of get rid of all the sort of oils in their hands. Now what I use is this one. It's actually an Australian brand because I'm located in Australia. It's called Grip Tonight. It is formulated for pole dancers. And what I usually do is just shake the bottle, make sure you shake the bottle and apply a tiny bit on my hands, rub it in my hands. And that gets rid of, oh, I dropped the <laughs> grip knife. And that gets rid of um, sort of the naturally occurring oils in my hands. Now, other thing you can try is you can also get um, meth methylated spirits, we can, which you can probably buy at your local supermarket. Um, and you can spray it, you can put it in a spray bottle and then you can spray it on a bit of towel and then you can wipe down the pole as well. That's gonna help you get rid of any of the oils on the pole and that's gonna be sort of like a double win if you feel like you have really sweaty hands. One last one, I would also apply a bit of grip aid on the pole after you wiped it down with methylated spirits and that's going to get extra grippy. So make sure you invest into grip aid, so your, like hand grip or even like antiperspirant. Um, that would also do as well and get methylated spirits if you want to. Now let's try it on our other side. So standing right next to the pole, Inside hand comes nice and high, outside hand comes across my chest. Make sure that you're rotating your shoulder back and pull it down. Outside hand comes pushing and you're gonna pull, push and release. Good, we've got three more, pull, push and release. Two more, pull, push and release. Last one, pull, push and release. Well done. That is the end of conditioning. Now let's get into our front hook. So this is what a front hook looks like. So let's break our front hook down. Now with the grip, it is very similar to the one conditioning we were doing. So you're gonna come on your calves, on your, on your calves, on your toes. <laughs> Inside hand comes nice and high, outside hand comes across. Remember, you should be able to see the wrist of your uh, face of your watch. Outside hand comes across your, your chest, creating that 90 degree angle with your outside arm. Now from here, you're going to bring your inside leg forward, so kick, your leg forward and then you're going to hook your knee pit onto the pole. Now, once you hook your knee pit onto the pole, 
You're gonna think about kicking your ankle all the way towards your bum and then you're gonna push your pelvis forward. So if I'm gonna look from the side, my ankle comes all the way towards my bum and then I'm pushing my pelvis forward. I'm gonna come back to this same position. From here, I'm gonna start pushing with my outside leg. Push and then my toes meet, knee facing out and I am in my front hook. And coming out by stepping out with your outside leg and then inside leg. All right, let's try it on the other side, inside and up. Outside and comes across, squeezing your armpit in. Inside, knee becomes onto the pole, pushing pelvis forward, knees facing out, toes meet together. And I am in my front hook, stepping down with my outside leg and then my inside leg. Now let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake. First one, overwrapping of wrist in my inside hand. Now, this is a cause of injury. And for some people, I do know that it is easier to overwrap the wrist and the grip becomes a little easier. But what happens is your wrist becomes over time injured or it's gonna start to inflame. So make sure that your wrist is facing towards you. Outside hand, this is the second one comes all the way up. I see a lot of this one as well. Now, the issue with this one is that later on, when you're learning other tricks, that you don't learn to push away in your bottom hand. So make sure that your outside hand comes across and then you're gonna squeeze your armpit in. That way, you're using that pull and push motion. If your hand is really high, then you're only going pull and pull. Yeah, and then you, you end up hanging in your shoulder and that's cause of your shoulder injury. Third one, knees very high. So if your knee is high, that probably means that your body is a little too far away from the pole. So make sure that your body is right next to the pole and then you're going to hook your inside knee pit onto the pole, push your pelvis forward. So make sure you're not hooking all the way up. As soon as you're standing, standing on the floor, you should be able to hook it nice and high and ankle towards your bum. There is your third one. Fourth one, outside leg positioning. I see a lot of knees together or somehow toes or like the foot around the pole. People think that um, hooking the toe your toe is like so strong that it can hold your whole body weight. That's not gonna help at all. <laughs> so if you need to check your positioning, you can try it from the floor. You can come onto your knees, inside and up, outside and across. What you can do is bring your leg up, hook your knee forward, knees facing out like a froggy, and then toes meeting together. And remember to push your pelvis forward as well. Yeah, and that way you can check your form from the floor without having to do it aerially. Now, one last tip I wanna give you, if you feel like um, your body or your hand is sliding down, we've obviously gone through our hand grip using liquid chalk, wiping down the pole with methylated spirits, but if your body is either sweaty or if you feel like your body is dry, what I use, this is gonna sound weird, I use shaving foam. Specifically, gel shaving foam. This is my favorite one, it's um, Chic Hydro. This is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> oh, and also I'm not sponsored by Grip Tonight either. These are just my favorites um, that I use when I grip onto the pole. Now, why gel shaving foam is that I find for some reason, I don't, I don't know anything about formulas, but gel works so much better and it gives, gives me a bit of more grip. So I do recommend this one. Now, this one comes out a lot. So I apply like a tiny bit on the back of my palm. Uh, or if you do get it on your hands, make sure you wipe it down or like wash it. I'd say I just like wash it with my hands um, and then I apply it on the parts of my body that I grip it. So in terms of the front hook, I'll apply on the back of my knees, um, a little bit on the outside of my, my calf, because that's um, a bit of a grip point, and also all the way up 
this outer part of my thigh all the way to my bum cheek here. Now make sure that you also tuck your shorts up. If you do have any shorts, that you're gonna have to tuck it all the way up or else the shorts are gonna interfere with the grip. So this is the reason also why that we all wear sort of like skimpy clothes, I guess, if you wanna word it that way, is because we need our skin to contact. So if you do have any sort of like shorts that ride up to like the mid part of your thigh, you might wanna tuck it all the way up so that you have enough grip. So even if it's like up here, cause you need the grip all the way to the upper thigh, make sure you ride it all the way up. And that is all the tips I wanted to go through. So one last thing before I let you go, make sure that you're kind to yourself, enjoy the journey. Pole dancing is probably nothing like you've done before, even if you have some sort of sports background, even if you haven't, it is a total different experience that I've even experienced as well. So enjoy your journey, make sure you stay safe and make sure that you don't rush into anything. Thank you so much for watching my front hook tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next tutorial. Bye.